How's the fight been so far? How's, it's how's been, it going? It's good. It's good. Good, good fight? Good scrap. Better than mine? I was going to ask that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not watching. I can't see it. A lot of people online are already saying you had the best fight of the night so far. So yeah, I know you apologize. Like, forgive me if you didn't enjoy it. But I think the consensus was your fight was good. Oh, thank you, sir. I really appreciate that. It's just it's an honor to be here. An honor to give you guys shows and, and to be able to do this. I'm different from everyone else. If you can see, my hands are down. I'm talking. I'm having fun. I'm doing everything I said I would do. In terms of your actual performance, you've now gone past the Lando Venata chapter of your life. How happy you are you to kind of put him in your rearview mirror? Um, I wouldn't say happy, you know, it's just part of the job. It's, it's, I'm glad that I got that off of the draw in terms of that. Yeah, that's awesome, but it's just another fight. He's a great dance partner, great guy, though. And you, you mentioned you fractured your hand, I think, in the put like, so in, how, what is In the clay fight, there? yeah, I fractured in the clay fight. And, um, I got an x-ray and, and it said I was fractured, but uh, I said I'd be here in August and I did exactly what I said I would do. I would come no matter what. I asked my dad, I was like, dad, I'm hopeful this my, my hand holds up because I don't know. And I was so like questioning myself, but I just told myself this fight, I was going to test my mentality, test my heart and see if I could still do it anyway. You know, know that you're just like, you're going to fight with one hand. I can still do it anyway. You know, I fought Clay off the couch a three weeks notice and you guys like that fight. So. I'm just trying to motivate people and tell them you can do anything you, you put your mind to. Your message at the end, you said, like, I paid my house off. I got food for my family. And then you sent, put out that message for your kids. How important was it to use your platform uh, given to you in that moment? I'm here to motivate, okay? I'm here to just let anybody know that's been through something, you can do it, okay? I, I've been through 50 different homes. I never had a mom or a dad. You know, I had my friends, and I, I was jealous of them because they had moms and dads. And I watched them get all the spoils and i just told myself how hard I, one day i'm gonna because i felt like if i work harder than you i should have a better life than you i worked harder than all my friends i'm sorry but i worked harder and they know that they'll tell you they saw me grind they saw me in those trenches they saw me hurt and then that's why all my friends black white mexican they know what, exactly what this feels like and when i go home they're gonna be fucking crying in my arms because they know exactly how what i've been through to get here hey man uh it's funny that you say you want to pay off your house. Eddie Alvarez actually went on Twitter to say that you shouldn't do that. And he said that you should reach out to him. He's got better advice for like how you should spend your bonus money. Eddie is a great fucking guy, okay? I'm going to call you, Eddie, and let's see what you got for, what you got for me. Let's see what you're going, what's your news. Because I remember him saying getting a business. I already got that, Eddie. So you got to tell me about getting my business. I was listening to what he said. He said something about getting a business. And he said something else, too. But um, I already checked those off my checklist. I did that. But now let me see what he got in mind. He's a smart guy. There's a ton of better way to invest that bonus money and put it to work for you. That's if I get the bonus. If God's with me, we got the bonus. How comfortable do you have to be when you're in there and you start to talk, uh, talking back and forth with your opponent in there during the fight? Man, you got to be, you got to be a crazy person, okay? Because you're dog tired too. And the more you talk, you, 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 the more you take out of yourself, you know? I'm just that crazy, you know? When everybody else is like, because the emotions are high, your heart rate's high. He's like, there's no way you're talking and still into the fight. Yes, I'm still in the fight. And I felt every punch, you went right a little bit here. And oh, no, you touched me here. I'm just telling him, let him know I'm right in the fight with you. Don't think that I'm disrespectful in any way. Because some people take my shit talking as shit talking. No, it's just communication. It's just fun. It's just letting him know I'm right there with you, buddy. No, that didn't hit my face. You, you kind of grazed a little on my forehead. But... I wouldn't count that as a shot. Or then I'll let you know, oh, oh okay, that one was, I was in, okay. Well, I know leading into this, definitely there, there was some animosity and even at the, the way and the, the staring, you didn't want to turn away from him. But after the fight was done, it no seemed like it was immediately respect. It was no animosity. I just letting him know it's a serious business. You think that you had, because he said I hadn't changed. Boy, oh boy, he learned today, <laughs> you know? Um, it's, it's no animosity to anybody I fight, okay? I just bring the energy. That's what you want to see. You want to see us come. You want to show. I'm going to give you that. That's just what it is. And I know so much of the, the fight game is the mental aspect. How far along uh, the journey of your life are you at right now? And how is martial arts and fighting you taking you to where you are right now? Like I said, I was in 50 different homes. I stayed with all my friends, friends. I got six different families, black, white, Mexican. Bro, just, it's taking me from living off couches and, and wearing people's hand-me-downs to having my own house. I couldn't pray for more. 
You know, I couldn't ask for more. Everybody's got these uh, dreams of having, you know, cars and houses and blah, blah, blah. I just wanted one house and a car and a little money in my bank account, and I'll be happy and satisfied with life. Here, you can have the game. If I if I win this fight, I pay my house off, I'm done. Like, I'll still fight, not saying that, but I'm saying in terms of what was important to me was a providing a, a home for my children. That's the most important, and that's it. Well, now that you have that, how, how do you stay hungry? And what's I, the next goal now that you've got that? Well, that's a very interesting thing that you say that. I have three children and only have one house. <laughs> and I got to get that one paid. Then the next one comes, you know, and the next one. And once the three are all have the houses, then I can say, hey, I'm done with the game. Uh, Bobby, one final one. Uh, the fight before you, Trevin Giles and Kevin Holland fell apart. Yeesh. So, so what happened? Like you, did We you were warming up in the back. And they were like, oh, oh, hey, we got some bad news. You got to fight right now. I was like, fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. I'm, I'm down like that. Like, sometimes I was just telling myself that. I was telling my dad that. I was like, if they called us right now out of bed, that would be awesome. Just like right now. Just kid in the cage. No work. No warm up. Just go in and fight. I'm down. Let's do it. Thank you, guys. You guys are fucking awesome. I lost two. Thompson, I've been working on so many.